Hello, everyone. Hello, and good morning and good afternoon. Good everything. Just good everything. I wanted to show you here my blankie. Now, I decided a little change in the in the in the in the in the in the border, making the border. See, this is what I was doing right here on the border was just putting the scrunch a bunch pieces all along the border but then that leaves like this raw edge on the edge which i i like raw edges but i thought well let's change and so what i did was i flipped it i did i it had this border and then i flipped it over to the back like this so this is the back this is the front, and so I just kind of flipped it, and then I went right along this, along here, and stitched, and so then this is what I ended up with on this side, on this edge. Um, so when you look at the front, that's what you see, and then when you look at the back, this is what you see. So how you see the then you see the whole scrunch a bunch on that side, but you only see the part of it on this side, but it hides that um, raw edge. Not that, you know, it's still a raw edge because all of these little pieces are raw edge. But so what I'm going to do now, right this minute, I've done three sides are finished, three edges. Where's that edge? Oh, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> Okay, so now like this, see? Here, wait, now I'm gonna I'm gonna push you down. Wait a minute, push scoot you around here. I gotta look back at you. Yeah. Like this. Okay, yeah. So you can see probably maybe maybe you can see. Yeah, you can see. Okay. So now see this edge here, that one's already been turned back. And sort of hemmed and this one isn't yet so I'm going to turn this just turn it over like this simple as that and then I go and set it in there on the sewing machine and um, and I'm going to get that under the presser foot and then and then I'm going to just turn that over And, and then just go all the way down that edge. And so then that pushes that scrunch a bunch ruffle thingy, my jig, thingy, my jig, doohickey, what you call it. And um, it just turns it under. And I kind of like how that looks. And And this isn't straight even. My, my, it's kind of curvy. <laughs> it's kind of curvy like me. I'm a very curvy. Um, and so then I'm just getting that sort of like making a hem in the edge that way by, by putting them, them little scraps. And I didn't measure the scraps. I would say that they're, you know, like, approximately two inches by two inches all these little things I put in the scruncher bunches but I didn't measure them so they're just kind of sort of kind of sort of that way and so but it doesn't matter and they're all just raw edged now when I get this sewn I'm going to go put it in the washing machine when this is done I'm going to go wash it and dry it and I'm going to put this here video on, on pause while I do that. And then I have plans for my next one. I don't know why I'm making these. I don't know what I'll do with them. I'll have, I'm going to have more than I need, that's for sure. But they're just so much fun. And I would try selling them, but 
who's going to sell buy something that's made out of rags? You know, that's just the thing. So I might just give them away. Maybe some family wants them. I don't know. Oh, sure. Family would take them. Refuse to make one of these like an all little child's prints, you know. Baby colors. You could make a baby quilt. That would be pretty cool. If you do the whole thing out of flannel. And just make a whole baby quilt. That would be fun. But see, you just keep, you just do whatever, whatever, you know. Whatever floats your boat. Because you want your boat to float. You don't want, if you got a boat, you don't want that doggone thing to sink. So whatever floats your boat. A sinking boat is not a good boat. So see now, I just stitched that whole edge on, oops, hi, this under. So now that I just flipped what was, this was, this edging was on this side, but I flipped it over and stitched, and so now the whole, the edge of the front side Looks like that. Yeah, like that, see? And then the back is just as fun because then you got that whole ruffle on the back. So you just flip the ruffle from the front to the back. And it gives it a more finished look on the back. And so I like that. I think that is really pretty cool. And so this is actually now done. It's finished. It's a finished little lap quilt. Or maybe a little child's quilt or something. It is definitely colorful. But as you see my squares, like here's a square here, and here's a square here. But you see here, oh, maybe you can't see it. But see like right here, it doesn't match. My corners don't match at all. And now here my corners match on them ones. But because my, my pieces, I guess, guess my pieces weren't exactly square or something. Something wasn't exactly. But it's all put together anyway. And I think it's really nice. Want to buy this for $100? I'm going to go wash this. I'm going to put this on pause. I'm going to put this video right here on pause. And I'm going to go now and put it in the washer and the dryer. And meanwhile, I'm going to get started on something else. And um, and then I'll unpause it in just a minute. I'll unpause it. You won't even know. You'll think I've got a Polaroid washing and dryer machine. Let me see. Let me pause. Okay, well, I went and I put the, wa put the put, I got the quilt put in the washer. It's in the washer. I had some towels to wash too, so I threw the whole load in there. And I already have, like, so many 5x5 five five pieces just cut already. And then I have them put together three layers. These are each one three layers. So it's like a layer of a cotton fabric and then a layer of fat um flannel and another layer they're all different I mean cotton whatever and so what I'm what I'm doing now is I'm taking each one of these and I'm um, and I'm stitching them two together like this one's pink on one side and this on another side and turtles on one side and that on the other side so they're all different and what, I, what I'm doing, they're five inch squares. So now I am sewing them together with a, like about a half an inch. I'm trying to keep these ones a little bit more 
accurate than the last ones because these are smaller. Well, I don't know why because it's just they are smaller. And um, so I don't want, uh, you know, I kind of want them just to be a little, little bit more even. And so I, like I say, I've already got the, some of these are already sewn together. I mean, as far as I went across and around. And when I just didn't have anything else to do. And so, oh, and then this one is just across. What, so they're just all very different. And so, but I'm going to do the same thing. This is also going to be a, a rag quilt. And it's only going to be a laptop, a lap quilt size. Or, you know, like a baby quilt kind of size kind of thing. And um, so, so I think it would be pretty doggone cool, really, actually. And so, and you just really don't have to have a, you don't have to have a reason to make something like this. Just make something. Just be a maker. Just be a maker. Make things. And we don't even, the only thing on this one that might be, you know, is I've got all five and a half by five and a half, no, five inch by five inch squares, which, you know, whatever size squares you want to use. See, do I have any more of these that are already stitched? Mm, no, but I got some that are pinned. These ones aren't even stitched together, but I got them, like I got a pin in there, so I know that that's three pieces already. I don't think they even have to be like stitched together because they'll be stitched together once I, once I stitch them together, they're stitched together. Oh wait, I only put one on that one, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, you only had one on that one. That's okay. Here, let me go take that back off a little. I can just, I can, I can fix that just this quickly. Is I'll just put another one. Put another one with it. There we go. Now we have two. Because that's what I'm doing is putting two squares together. You know, I don't know if there's a whole lot of things that are more calming than s just sewing. Just sewing. What what could there be any? I don't know if there can be anything anymore. Just calming. Especially when you're sewing without a pattern. If you if you have a pattern, then you kind of kind of follow the guidelines. Oh, hi, Papa. Don't show your fingers to you. I won't show my fingers to you. Hang on. Wait a minute. I've got one for you, Papa. Just a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on right there. Um, okay. What do you call a row of rabbits hopping away? What do you call a row of rabbits hopping away? Got it yet, Papa? A hair stitch. A hair stitch? No, hair is in the answer, though. A hair run. A hair what? Run. No, it's not a hair run either, but it is sort of, it's called a receding hairline. <laughs> a 
category was. Yeah, I know. I know that feeling, too. I got one. A receding hairline, y'all. You got to pull that joke on your hubster or your neighbor or the mailman or whoever, milkman, iceman. Okay, let's see what am I doing here. Okay, put these two together. So, so yeah, I'll just do a few of these and then I'll pause the camera again. Okay, so now, let's just go right here. And, um, see, now I've got all of these, and I'll snip them apart. Oh, wait a minute, where's my camera? Oh yeah, it's still, I had to make sure it was still going, and it is. So now I'll just take these. How do I possibly, how in the world can I possibly, gosh, I put them back there. I put them back there. <laughs> but anyway, I'm um, just nipping these threads that, holds these pieces together and I will see now these are all two squares together uh oh I think I hear my dog okay yeah I hear my dog what? Okay, so now, yep, that was my daughter. She had some Arby's coupons. Arby's. You got Arby's up around your area? Because Arby's is pretty good stuff. So she is going to, I'm, I'm getting me a Reuben sandwich and some jalapeno poppers never had jalapeno poppers but there's a first time for everything so now I got all of these two by twos together two twos together now those ones I need to stitch okay so now I'm going to stitch them so now two by twos will go together for two Two for tea, me for you, and you for me. Okay, so then, make sure I got them together, together. And um, this is really fun, you know? Now that I figured I can just pause my video and go about my day and then come back and work on it, or not work on it, it's definitely not work, but um, it's, well, sort of like work. I'll pretend it's work so I don't feel so lazy. And already I got one here that, this, this one's not quite as big as this one, but that's okay, whatever, you know. We're not going to let that worry us none. Okay, this is going to be real colorful too. Now, the last one I did, if you kind of wasted your time watching me do that last one, the last one I did, I um, the one that's in the washing machine right now, that one I used all just scraps, little tiny scraps, and put them all together in a tool, tool and flannel sandwich. Tool and flannel sandwich. And it was, I supersized them. And so, but these, this has got flannel on. This is, 
This has just got whatever fabric I swept up off the floor, I guess. Sort of like that way. And so, and so this one has no tool. And it doesn't have anything smaller than a 5 by 5 inch square. So, and just whatever scraps of fabric, you know. And I do have that, well, I have fabric scraps like this to sell. I think I have them listed somewhere, but right now I don't even remember where I have them listed. But if you're interested, if you're interested, you know, I could actually make up a bunch, well, I shouldn't say I can make up a bunch of squares because if I say that they're going to be five by five, they might be five and a half or I don't know. Maybe I'm better off with that. You can talk to me though if you're interested in having a, a large variety of different fabrics and if you want them in In, um, that's what I could do. I could maybe cut, now that I can use my dining room table as a cutting table, I could probably cut five by five inch squares for you. And I could cut, let me see, I want to see how many squares this takes to make this size I have to figure out how many squares it takes for three squares being on each thing, on each piece, to make a lap quilt. Maybe I can make a lap quilt kit, which all it would be would be scraps, squares of fabric. I'm just thinking as I'm sitting here. I could do that. I could do that with no problem. Just get, I got fabrics up there, flannels, cottons, different. But see, I would not be able to do anything like if you say, oh, make me one all in blues. No, nah, I can't do that. That's too much stress. And um, that's too much stress for me. That's just, yeah. I don't deal well with stress. It makes me, it gives me the shakes. It gives me the shakes, and it's not a milkshake either. So, but. I could do, like. I could cut the squares. And they would be pretty, they wouldn't be exact like you, you know, you can buy a five inch charm pack, they call them. And so that's what you would do is if you wanted one like perfect, but since I am not into that perfection stuff, um, you know, but if you wanted something like perfect, you could buy a charm pack. Those are a stack of five by fives. Maybe they, yeah, I think they're usually five by five. And um, and they're cut exact because they're cut with a, you know, like a die down and it cuts them. And so they're all exactly the same. Now, if I cut them, um, they would be exactly not the same. Exactly not the same. So, but if you think that you would be at all interested in a, um, I'll call it a lap, lap quilt, wait a minute, a, what, um, a lap, I don't know what I'll call it, a lap quilt rag, a rag lap quilt. Kit. And what I would have, though, is enough squares to, 
I, and I would take my time in cutting them. And I iron the fabric before I cut it and stuff so that it would be as good as I and cut it with the rotary cutter. And then they would be pretty close. But like right here, now this is four pieces together. Four together. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. So that's twelve pieces right there. Twelve. So let's see. And as I put, oh look, I didn't mean to put two to the same right there, but I got two the same, and it's okay. And so now I'm putting. Now I'm putting the two fours together. So I'll have eight. Yeah, if you think that you anybody would have any interest, and I'm not saying don't say you. I mean, if if you're thinking about it, that's it. If you're thinking about it, then um. If you say, oh, I'll think about it, then maybe I'll think about cutting some. Look at that, how neat that looks. See how neat that looks? All them different, all them different pieces. They're all different. They're just all different. Now, see this one? I'll have to trim that one a little bit because it's a little biggish. A little biggish. When if, if they're a little biggish, then I'll trim. So, and if I do do a, if I do do make a, if I do do, if I do make a kit, it would be like every piece wouldn't be different. There would be, maybe there'd be five, six or one, and maybe ten of another, and two of another, and maybe just one of another. You know, that's the way it would be, because that's how I work. Like, see, here's two of the chicken ones together. Oh, that's a chicken on both sides. All them chickens. I love this fabric. Fabrics that are just, they, they're they just funny. I like funny fabrics. So, but some of these are like uh, maybe a kitchen print. Some of them are like... Uh, be bedroom print. What would be a bedroom print? I don't know. Some might be a farm print. Some might be a school print. Some might be a kid's print. It would definitely be a bunch of different print. See here I don't have enough I got I gotta get a lot more of it um, going here. So what do I have? Oh here. Now I've just got three pieces. One, two, three. So like so now this one that's twenty-four pieces of fabric. And then once I so these two together, and that's 48 pieces of fabric. So you'd probably need about, if you're going to do something like this out of the, I don't know how many you get in a charm pack. Actually, I think they make different sizes. I don't kind of buy them because they're expensive. They're expensive when you have somebody cut them for you. But you can sure get some pretty ones. But you might be rich. Maybe you're rich. I don't know, like Johnny Depp. Rich like Johnny Depp. And then you could afford. I don't think Johnny Depp would buy any fabric. Nor would any of his girlfriends. But, well, you never know, though. They might. Okay, so. Um. So even though these are five inches, 
actually, once you have them sewed together, it's only, you know, because you're taking a half an inch for the seam allowance. So then it, you're only like four inch squares. So. Ruben said, oh, that one I didn't get straight either. That one kind of went off, off the deep end right there. Okay, so now I got a piece that went four by four in the squares. And you see they're all different. These are only two I got right together. And then this will be the rag side. And there I did pretty good not getting any two together. But so far in this piece, which is only about 20 inches, it's not even 20 inches, it's only about 4, 8, 12, 16 inches by 16 inches so far. And so I'll probably want it four times this, 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 this. Or maybe I'll have this six times. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. Which that would mean I would need, because this is now 12, 24, 48, 48, so that would be 96. Doubling this would be 96. So, yeah. So you would need 96, 300 probably about 300 squares to do a lap quilt just to make one that'll fit on your lap and so I'd have to figure that I can't hardly figure that out in my head but um I mean and then once and you'll see once I get that one out of the um out of the washing machine and dryer you'll see how it really is fluffy and um, these edges once they're all nipped I mean it takes a little bit of time to do the nipping and, and get it all nipped and um, you can do different things on the edges um, you could put just even a regular quilt binding on the edge or just leave it a raw edge too you could do that to really make it a raggedy rag quilt but and this will be pretty on both sides so it'll be more finished looking on this side and more raggedy on this side okay well i'm going to be putting this on pause again which is only paused for me it's not paused for you because once i turn this thing on again then i'll be right there right there in your face so but now i'm excited because i'm gonna have a reuben sandwich i just love them i just love them reuben sandwiches you know what i did with my this is, this is, I have got my camera in a, on just a selfie stick. But then, look at this. Let me see if I can get out of here. Oh, no, it's stuck. Oh, no, it's not stuck. See this? It's a spool of thread. And it's got like that bottom on it. And I just put the selfie stick down in that spool. And it just fits. Just fits perfect, perfectly. Look, Ma, no hands. And so, that's it. Oh, look, Papa fix, picked me a flower. He always picks me flowers. We have a magnolia tree in the yard. You see that? Oh, my God, it smells so good. He picked one yesterday, and it's... Oh, the one he picked yesterday. Now, it's... um. Gosh, it's look at it, it turned brown. He picked that one yesterday and it's turned brown. He then that's the vase he put it in, the vase. That's the vase he put it in. And this time he put it in this vase. And I said, How in the world did you get that with these? Says, I had to pull it down with a stick and cut it off with my knife, so we got a leaf with it too. Hmm, right off the magnolia tree. I love that smell. And when you walk out back and about that door and that tree is right there, it just smells so good. The whole yard. It's like somebody's got an air freshener in the yard. But that's that. That's that. 
Oh, I have to tell um, my winners from last month's challenge are still waiting for their um, prizes. When that I and I pulled the, the names on the first of the month, and today's like the twenty eighth. They got mail today. <laughs> Except one didn't get mail because now this is one of the prizes and it goes to Cindy Nason, but I never got her ad address. I actually, since it took me so long to get them um, mailed, I um, added things. So you got more than just the mug rug. You got like buttons and the buttons when you get them you'll see the buttons are like vintage buttons somebody might car call them garbage buttons because some people don't realize the value in vintage and so but vintage means very valuable so papa got a shirt yesterday that says i'm not old i'm vintage that means he's more valuable than he's ever because he's valuable now and so but cindy nason and i looked on the on the I looked on the um in the group at the addresses to see if her address was in there and it's not. And um so I still have this for her because she I pulled her name as a winner. And so I still have that one. I gotta get that mailed right off to her. And so okay, that's all I have for right now. And now I'm gonna put this on pause again because now turn this light off from right here and I'm going to um oh I gotta go see if that load is done where I can put it in the dryer I gotta go pluck these whiskers do you all get whiskers growing in there why am I talking about whiskers this is about crafting and I'm talking about whiskers and flowers okay we're gonna pause this isn't the end I'm just pausing and go pluck my whiskers. I don't have to go anywhere. I got my whisker. I could pull all my gear on. No. Okay.